Here, let's try that one more time. As you can see, it burnt my finger right there. Danner, Jack Danner, Jack Danner, Danner, Jack Danner, Jack Danner. Hello, this is Danner Jack. And today I'm going to be revisiting my old Slayer slider that I made in a previous video, and I'm going to be using it to explain the skin effect and RF burns. So let's get started. So the skin effect shows the depth of penetration of electricity inside a circuit at a certain frequency. And so if you have a conductor, and let's say it's a copper wire and it's a circle like this, and you have a DC current flowing through it, the electrons will flow through the entire thing. But then as your frequency increases of the electricity beyond DC, then it stays to the side. So if you were running a very high frequency device, the electrons would only go through this top uh, circumference of the conductor and the inside no electrons would flow at all. So the skin effect would basically be, as the frequency approaches infinity, the outside diameter minus the inside diameter, which is the place where electrons can flow, will approach zero. Now, I have over here a Slayer exciter, and this Slayer exciter uh, operates at a frequency of about 0.6 megahertz, so 0.6 megahertz. This is actually the frequency at which this thing is oscillating. And if I press store, you can see if I move the cursors that this thing is oscillating at 0.6 megahertz or around there somewhere. And now calculating this using an online calculator, I can figure out that the penetration of a conductor would be about 0 0.08 millimeters. That means this current that is flowing through the conductor in my Slayer Exciter uh, will only go through the 0 0.08 millimeters of the conductor it's going through. That's extremely small. If you think of a millimeter right there, that tiny thing, and then you go 0 0.08 of that, that is an extremely small surface. And that is why I can touch this Slayer Exciter without being electrocuted or without feeling the electricity, because it is penetrating the top part of my skin without any uh, nerve cells in it. So in my skin, uh, the layers of the skin kind of are like this. So we have the outside layer, and the outside layer is just dead skin, and then we have some other layers of skin, and then we've got the nerve cells down here. And the nerve cells uh, use electrical impulses to control what they feel, and so if there's electricity running through here, that electricity is going to stimulate those nerve cells, and it's going to hurt, and it's going to feel like the electricity is flowing through you. But then if you have this outside layer, there's, where there's no nerve cells. If you have electricity flowing through there, nothing's going to happen. And so, if I have this high frequency from this layer exciter of 0.6 megahertz, and it only penetrates 0 0.08 millimeters, it's not going to penetrate through the entire uh, part of the epidermis, or the part of the skin where no nerve cells are. And so, if there's electricity flowing through my skin, I'm not going to feel it, because it's not going to touch any of my nerve cells. Alright, so if I connect this up to power, and I take a screwdriver with my hand touching it, and I hold my hand to it like this you can see this huge arc grows and this arc is extremely hot and it has a lot of uh, voltage flowing through it and yet it's going into my body and I can't feel a single thing because it's not touching any of my nerves because of the skin effect now if I touch this with my bare skin ow it burns it it gives me an RF burn and it does not feel good here let's try that one more time as you can see, it burnt my finger right there, and it caused some burnt tissue. Now, as you can see, my skin got pretty burnt by that uh, Slayer Exciter, because the RF, or the high frequency electricity, actually traveled into my skin and caused these nasty burns right here. Now these are called RF burns, and that brings me to my next point inside this video. Burns are a common thing in the radio industry, like such with this Beofing, uh ham radio. It's a two meter radio. Sometimes if you're holding this radio and you have the back of your skin touching one of these metal ground prongs on the back for charging the battery, you can get a small RF burn on your hand, such as the ones that I got from that Slayer Exciter. That's because when you're transmitting, you're transmitting at a high frequency and that frequency is coming out of the antenna and it's traveling through your hand and back to the ground inside here and causing that RF burn, the same as the Slayer Exciter. You may be wondering, why did I not get these bad RF burns when I was just holding the screwdriver like this? And that's because of the skin effect. Uh, so what happened is my finger was touching this solid conductor of the metal, and so the electrons 
were hitting the screwdriver extremely hard, and then after they hit the screwdriver, they would travel through the metal and into my finger, and the skin effect would take place, and I wouldn't feel a single thing because it wouldn't touch a single nerve. But now, when you think about my finger touching it directly, here's the wire, and here's my finger. Now the electrons are shooting out of the wire at that high frequency, and when they hit the skin, they're going to hit it so hard and so fast that uh, frequency, then it's going to blow skin cells off, and it's going to blow those off in different directions. And it's going to cause a burn right here because there's that hot plasma uh, a voltage, and it's hitting and burning off skin cells. And once it hits it, because of that high initial velocity, uh, the skin effect's not going to take place yet, and it's going to blast through and it's going to hit some of those nerve cells because it's going so fast. Um, but it's only going to hit nerve cells at that specific location. And after that, the skin effect is going to take place and it's only going to travel at the outside part of my finger. But at that exact place where it hits my finger is where the RF burn is going to happen. So hopefully that was an interesting video. You learned about the skin effect and how it can be used in the terms of the Slayer Exciter. And how I can touch the high voltage with my screwdriver and not feel a thing. Yet, if I touch it with my hand, it actually burns it, and it burns a little RF burn in there. Now, the skin effect is also useful in Tesla coils. Uh, in some Tesla coils, you can see that they use the copper tubing to make the primary coil, and the reason they do that is because the electricity will only travel at the outside edge, the copper, because Tesla coils operate at an extremely high frequency, like the Slayer Exciter. So, the skin effect is useful in all kinds of things, especially in radio frequency applications. So make sure to be careful when you are working with uh, high frequency electricity, or any type of electricity for that matter, because the skin effect might not always save you. If you touch some high voltage electricity that comes straight from the wall, which is 60 hertz, the skin effect isn't going to take that much effect, and it's going to almost travel through your entire body, and that will kill you. That's not good. So be careful around electricity. The only reason that I was able to touch this is because the skin effect was protecting me from the harmful effects of that electricity. And the electrons were only burning a little bit of my skin on the calluses. And the calluses didn't hurt that much because they're just dead skin. So when it hits that, it doesn't hurt that bad. Uh, be careful with electricity. This can also happen in ham radio applications. Like if you have a more powerful radio like this one or even a power amplifier like I have, that can really harm you if you touch an antenna while a radio is transmitting at high powers. So be careful of electricity, as always. Have a good day.